Yeah. I'll subtitle that bit. <laughs> bloody, bloody oh, Tim, oh, bloody yeah. Tim with his camera. Yeah. Yeah. Be, be, what be, be, put it in, in French. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Tim Palmer, I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. Four of us were booked into the Suffolk Strut Fly-In at Monedon. Martin and Cynthia had already taken off and we followed Duncan and Rob in the D18. I would swing out of his way at the top of the runway in front of Roy's hangar. Roy was going to follow on later in the Oster. Irony here, as I did a sound check, was that I was recording, but it turned out that I was recording silence, as I had not connected the splitter jack plug after I disconnected it last week to fly to seething with Duncan and G. Wib. Not that that worked either. So I'm afraid it's another video without proper cockpit sound recording. We flew alongside the D18, but the camera didn't capture them. And as we had a time slot to meet, I didn't try to reposition for the sake of the camera. In order for those working the radio to see aircraft on the downwind leg of Monedon, the circuit directions had been changed for this event. We'd reported five miles out with our PPR number, but needless to say, I started with the call sign before I corrected myself. Well spotted whoever it was that called up, old habits die hard, Tim, on the radio. Then there was the overhead call before reporting descending dead side left hand for runway 22. Not many people had turned up early 
and a lot of the pilots had already been put off by the bad weather forecast for later on that afternoon. The underwing camera didn't pick it up, but we flew wide around the church as requested and we lined up on runway 22. There is an interesting little hollow in the intersection of the two runways. Needless to say, it caught me out and I made two landings. We were marshalled into position against the hedge and I shut down quickly, but not quick enough to film Duncan's landing. The strut members always make you very welcome and we booked in, paid our landing fee and purchased our food tickets. Knowing the weather forecast for 2pm, the barbecue was already well underway as I tried to capture some of the landing aircraft.
at these events it's always great to meet up with people and talk aircraft or impending weather in some cases. In next week's video, with the bad weather threatening, we all left quite quickly. So, we've got some takeoffs and part of our trip back. But, I would like to say a very big thank you to Richard Flagg, who sent me that photograph that I used for a thumbnail. We don't very often get photographs of ourselves flying, so thank you Richard.